In this first video, we're going to install the CK Editor module, which you can find at drupal.org slash project slash CK Editor. We'll install the Libraries API module, which you can find at drupal.org slash project slash libraries. And the CK Editor library, which you can get at ckeditor.com slash download. All right, I've installed the libraries and the CK Editor module. Let's go ahead and walk through how to download and install the CK Editor library itself. First of all, you come to ckeditor.com slash download and select the full package and then click download CK Editor. And then we'll head over to our site and go into sites, all, libraries, and we're going to drop the CK Editor zip file in there and then go ahead and unzip it. And now I'll remove the zip file. If you didn't have a libraries folder, by the way, just go ahead and create one. I'm going to move up so that we can see our sites, all, libraries, CK Editor. And we want to make sure that ckeditor.js is right here. Now that that's done, let's go ahead and head back to our site and go ahead and enable the modules. We'll enable CK Editor and the libraries. And now we're installed. So let's go ahead and set some permissions. We'll go to People, Permissions. And if we scroll down a little bit, you'll find the CK Editor permissions. So if you have other users that will be configuring CK Editor, you can grant access here but you do not need to give these permissions to users in order for them to use CK Editor. Users will simply need to access the text formats that CK Editor is enabled on. So down in the filter section, we see the use filtered HTML text format and use the full HTML text format permissions. So this is the permission we need to grant for them to use CK Editor. You could actually create a new text format just for CK Editor and enable that and grant access to that text format to users, but I'm going to be using the filtered HTML format, so I don't actually need to change anything here. 